what she needs to do? Are you behaving? Yeah, I'm trying to see. Oh, it goes in the dark? Yeah. Oh, Throw it to me. Throw it to me, guys. Oh, you got a good arm. I hope you're smart like your mom and you play quarterback. <laughs> All right. About being comfortable with four of your running backs, does that mean you kind of go with the hot hand when you go into games, or how do you approach that? Uh, yes, we will go with the hot hand, but we also have certain things they do really well at different times, and things we'll have staged for different games, and try to get different matchup type things on different situations. And um, so, if, if, if the game plan is going like we feel like unfolding, then we would keep that. And then also, if a guy's hot, we're gonna you know get him the ball. But they also play a lot of special teams too, the different guys. When you're carrying, excuse me, when you're carrying that football, you're like a magnet. So if we run them a ton, we might not have the same guy for a long time. But I think all four of them are good enough to make a lot of plays in, in our in, in, during our season for sure. How's Timothy Coleman looked the last few days? Tim's looked really good. He's really looked good. Um, he's shown good effort. He's 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 kind of clicked the last few days because he, you know, he was hurt, and then the spring he was kind of limited, and now. About you know 20 practices into it or so, he's starting to click and understand it. So that's allowing him to play faster, and that's why he got that uncommon jersey. He made a really great effort to play because I think he wasn't thinking. He's freed up. Addison Gillum last year had a couple of games where he made you know 15, 18 tackles. Is that an in obviously it's an indication he's playing well, playing hard? Was it a negative on guys that are playing around him at all? It depends if he's making them 10 yards down the field or three or four yard gains. Right. You know. Um, so, uh, but no, he, he, our middle linebacker in our scheme should make a lot of tackles. You know, we, I'd rather have the middle linebacker making 15 than the safety making 15. Right. So, um, you know, when he's got six or seven and the safeties have got 15 or 16 and we're in trouble, so I like that reverse. So, yeah, I would say he'd be a 10 to 14 a game tackle guy with assist and different things like that. He should be. Is he sort of meeting the benchmarks you hoped he would going yeah. into this? Season? Yeah, he's making more plays, he's making more picks, he's causing some fumbles, he's tipping passes. Passes more. He understands where to be. Instead of just being a foot off, now he's over there knocking it down or picking it off. And he's wrapping right on the backer, you know, on the holes. Instead of getting him with an arm tackle, he's facing him up, which it calls bumps. So I am seeing that. Yes, I am. A week before the season opener, are you where you thought you'd be going into camp at this point? Um, you're never where you think you ought to be as a coach, I don't think. Um, but I do think that we're not behind. You know, I always want perfection, basically. And, um, but I think we are game. I think we're doing well. And I think we're, we're playing hard.